not allow any harm to come to the princess. Our target is Liu Bei, and Liu Bei alone. This is for the future of Wu. Everybody, prepare for battle!
Refuses to flee. Everybody, we must fight as if there is no tomorrow. I feel young again. Don't underestimate me. So we're almost home free. Come, this way. Yeah, thank you, Lady Shangxiang. We must move on together. <sighs> we let Liu Bei get away. It appears my luck has finally run out. Princess, leave the rest to us. Thank you, everyone. But now, Lord Liu Bei and I must be going. Lady Shangxiang? I swore to protect you, Princess. Please, allow me to come with you. No, I need you by someone else's side, Lian Shi. <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking about. Princess, tell my brother that as long as I am alive, the alliance between Wu and Shu shall be unwavering. And tell Zhou Yu, thank you for me. Princess, please take care of yourself. It seems my blade failed to find its mark. It is better this way. The alliance between Wu and Liu Bei is stronger than ever now, just like you said it would be. I believe that will be true for the time being. However, given the problem with Jing, I am afraid we will be unable to avoid further conflict with Liu Bei. At that time, it is going to hit you and especially the princess rather hard, my lord. More than anybody, you've risked your life to protect U. Nobody blames you for what you have done. My lord. I will not let your passion for U go unanswered. I promise to do whatever it takes to protect our people. But for now, try to get some rest. Unless you don't trust me to do the job properly. No, I think I can rest easily now. Zhou Yu! We may have placed too heavy of a burden upon Zhou Yu's shoulders. I suppose we were so caught up in our victory at Chibi that we failed to notice. The boy we once knew has grown into a fine young man. We must focus on supporting Wu's efforts going forward. It seems our life of easy retirement is gonna have to wait. Where are you going, Cheng Gu? I'm going to have a drink with Zhou Yu. Will wonders never cease? Hello, Master Cheng Bu. You look like you're feeling better. Care to join me for a drink? As long as you're feeling up to it, of course. Are you sure you wish to drink with a greenhorn like me? You have performed admirably in the service of Wu. 
I do not doubt your credentials any longer. Grr. It seems I forgot to bring the cups. Ah. Get a hold of yourself. Master Cheng Pu. We need you to train all of the other Greenhorns in our army. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day you were scolding me. Wait a moment. I'll be right back. Master Cheng Pu, I leave the rest to you. Sun Tzu, I hope I was able to live up to your expectations for me. Lastly, my lord, I hope you can forgive me for abandoning my path midway through. Joe you? Curse you, Greenhorn! Joe Yu, please say hello to my brother for me. And thank you for your loyal service. Wang Gai's efforts ensured that Sun Shangxiang's marriage to Liu Bei proceeded without incident. Before long, Zhou Yu passed away after a long career supporting Wu. Huang Gai put aside his grief and focused on helping train the younger officers. He was determined to prepare them to serve as the new foundation for Wu's greatness. That was the best way to ensure that his vast experience remained useful. Additionally, it was a kind of parting gift to Zhou Yu and all of the other officers that had fallen in service of Wu. Mm, all right, it's time to get started. Uh Soon. It's my turn. I You're both still wet behind the ears. Then may I have a try. I have my pride. Don't tell me. You're done already? All right, then. How about fire? I'm not sure setting something on fire is going to change anything. <laughs> Why don't you all try attacking at once? I'll carve into your carcasses the spirit and guts that it takes to survive on any battlefield! Yeah! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 